I, this book, Mom and Don't Allow, I had to read it first. Uh, I, she had to help me with the words. Okay. Oh, you think that's funny? <laughs> Mom and Don't Allow. So let's open the book. I had, I had to read it first a few times to do it. The ending is shocking. Okay, but I need you to hold the Sweetheart, would you like to hold the microphone for me? Oh. You're way better looking than Michelle. So come on over here. Oh. Oh. Just as cute. Come on up here, baby. Up here. Come on up here. You're in show business now. Okay. <laughs> she can hold it up. Are you okay holding it like that? Yeah. Is that for see? No complaints. You think you could run the sound too? What? From now on? You can come with me and run my sound? Yeah. No. no. Okay. Mama, don't allow. I'm going to give you my take on it, too, so now I'm just thinking I'm going to read it. Okay. okay, Mama, don't allow, starring Miles and the Swamp Band. And this is by Thatcher Hurd. Anybody know Thatcher Hurd? You don't know the, the writings of Thatcher Hurd? Neither do I. Okay. All right, starts out. Now, what I'm going to do is, because, you know, I'll just hold it up here a little bit, too, baby. Um... I'm going to have to explain the illustrations to you because, of course, just by telling you, um, wait a minute, I will, I will, but just way back there, just let me do my thing. Okay, okay, so Miles, I guess, now these guys are like, what I'm figuring, are like chipmunks, what do you think, baby, what do you think they look like to you, chipmunks or something? Yeah. Like chipmunks, chipmunks or whatever they are, so anyway. Uh, Miles. Miles got a new saxophone for his birthday. So I guess the deal is, if you look at the picture, Miles and his family, everybody looks at they're looking at the saxophone like, great for Miles. He's going to learn how to play the saxophone. But little do they know, they're about ready to go crazy. Okay? And I, I could relate to that. A lot of people don't like me for the same reason. My other ones too. Hold, hold it tight, baby. Got it? I'm going to turn the page. Okay. Now, just like I said, there's a picture of Miles, as you can see, playing the saxophone. Not a lot of good responses at home. Uh, how awful, keep it down, son. You know, dad's trying to be, you know, supportive, but, you know, after a while, it just gets on your nerves. Then, you know, he, Miles is practicing in the bathtub. He's practicing uh, until his mama and papa couldn't stand it anymore. And his mama said, why don't you practice outside, dear? So he just about got exiled from the house, and now he's going to play outside. You got that, honey? I'm going to turn the page. Look how good of a job she's doing. You are a sweetheart. Special pictures for you after the show. The CD. And so he did, and he played as loud as he could. Okay? Even the mice and the dogs and everyone in town are just saying, My God, my God, it's too loud. Enough. You know, you got the dogs here, it's, it's dreadful, unbearable, terrible. You know, as a musician just getting started out, that's, that's tough, right? But he just keeps playing away. Even the birds are saying, I think he said, Pug. I think. I'm going to turn the page again. All right. So now, Miles strolled down Main Street where he met a drummer named Al. All right. Al looks like a, a uh, like a morphed out goldfish or something. Um. Okay, and then he went up Swamp Lane where he met a guitarist named Bert. And Bert, no doubt, is a bird. Okay. And over Bayou Bridge where he met a trumpet player named Doc. And I think Doc is a mouse. I think we could all agree on what Doc is. He's a mouse, okay? So, hey, let's play some music, Miles said. Loud music, Al said. So let's be a band, said Bert. So they're all getting together as a band. Uh, and they wanted to call themselves the Swamp Band and cry, Doc, Doc, come up with this idea, right? Doc, the, that was he, a mouse, yeah. And they played as loud as they could. Um, soon the whole town cried out, you know, Swamp Band's playing the Swamp. Makes sense, right? They had about enough, these exiled from the town. When I first started out in the Mont Valley, in Mapleview, people were like, out. So I got exiled to Elizabeth, and there I am now. Okay? It's tough. Tough world. You'll see. Okay, hold on, because I'm turning the page. You ready? Your arm's getting tired? Yeah. Are they getting tired? Fine. You sure? Okay. What a trooper. Okay, I'm going to turn the page. We're almost done. This book's not very long. 
All right, now here's where the things get bad, and you got to you know feel bad for them. I was almost in tears. Okay, but down in the swamp at the edge of town, the sharp-toothed, long-tailed yellow alligator said, oh, "I got to turn the page again. I'm sorry, but but you can see the alligators are surrounding them as they're playing. You know, so bad thing, nothing but bad things could happen here. All right, the alligator says." We love that swamp band music, and we like it loud. And the band's like, you do? You really like it? Alligator's like, yeah. You know who this reminds me of, Dave? It's Kovacs. <laughs> this is just like Kovacs coming up here. This is just like him. This is just like him. He's like, oh, yeah. He goes, I like, uh, I like, we like how loud you play and whatever. Why don't you come to the alligator ball? And they're like, when is it? Saturday night after the sun goes down. Okay. Okay, meet you at the riverboat. And that's where I guess it's going to be, at the riverboat. So they're all excited because it's like their first gig, right? You okay, bud? Yeah. I'm holding it too, so. You want me to hold it? You okay? Yeah, okay. You heard that. Wow. Okay. <laughs> she is. She is, isn't she? A little round of applause real quick. Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to turn the page again, baby. You ready? Okay. You just keep switching arms up. Okay. So, Saturday night, they all get to the gig, okay, when the sun went down. The alligators came from miles around. They're all dressed in their finest. you got alligators in top hats. And it's a little over the edge, but uh, top hats. Uh, I don't know what kind of hat that is. But anyway, I mean, they are GQ dressed to go. One guy has a cone on his head. Anyway, um, the Swamp Band played their favorite song. Let me find out what did. I'm going to turn the page again, buddy. And here's the title. Here's the song. Mama don't allow no music playing around here. And they keep, I guess they keep playing that same verse over and over again. And everyone's jamming here. You can see the band playing. Everyone's having a good time, right? Okay, here we're going to turn the page again, right? And this illustration, as you can see, is getting into the wee hours of the night. People are getting out of control. It, they're having a good time. All right, it's like sort of like the Blues Brothers, with thing we had the cage like around the thing, they're throwing beer balls. It's sort of similar to that. Okay, there we go. We're still going at it. We're still going at it. Here, another another page of just showing, singing the same song over and over again. Um, And again, like I said, you okay, bud? You want me to take a knee? No, that's fine. Sure, okay. So again, uh, they're play way into the night, way into the night. Okay, it's on a riverboat. Well, I'm sorry, baby. Now here's where it gets Kovacs-ish. <laughs> when the music was over, the band was hungry. So were the alligators. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So now, now, the, the band asks, what's for dinner? Now look at this picture of these alligators, okay? One looks like Chef Boyardee. <laughs> they got some chef hats on, some what? Some, what do you call those things? Some bibs? What do you call those, buddy? Aprons. Aprons. You don't know about that yet. That's okay. Neither is Michelle, so. Um, they said they want something tender, something juicy, and I'm thinking this, this band is about ready to get it, okay? Uh, so the alligators snap their jaws and smack their lips. They got this pot ready, you know. And this is the thanks you get. You play all night for them, you're going to throw them in a pot. Now I can tell you if that was my situation, or I played some places pretty close to that, um, yeah, I would just hightail it out of there, right? Okay, here we go. See how, we're, see how they get out of this. I was pretty amazed how they got out of this. Okay. So the band... <laughs> no. Wait. Now, Dave, if you can see from here... You see this picture? Let me hold the microphone real quick, buddy. I'll hold it for you. You can see this picture of this alligator holding this guy in the pot by his feet. Who does that look like and remind you of? You could be doing the same thing. Shaking them down for their lunch money or doing whatever. Okay. 
Bully, thank you. You are so intelligent. I love you. You are so Okay. So as his head goes into the pot, he's saying, wait, how about one more song before dinner? And then the alligator's like, okay, just make it short and make it sweet. And these other dudes are like, look at the look on their faces, man. They're just like, Phew. So, and the band begin to sing. They're like, one, two, three, and so on. It was a lullaby of the swamplands. A lullaby of the swamplands. Okay. When the moon is rising and the moss hangs low, when the swamp is quiet and the waters move slow, that's the time to sing softly and lay your head awfully far down in the gooey, damp mud. I guess that's meant for alligators because, yeah. So now, the alligators fell fast asleep. Miles piloted the riverboat back to Swampville, and the swamp band tiptoed home. So that sounds like a, like a crazy Star Trek episode that Kurt got him out of another <laughs> deal. But anyway. So playing their lullaby as quiet as they could, um, I guess Swampville was asleep. Everybody was asleep, and they got home. Okay. So, and Mama said, "Oh, how nice!" Because he's playing a soft lullaby. Okay. Because I guess she was out on the porch. They were sitting on the porch. So, the moral of the story, and what I got from this. Loud music just does not pay off, okay? I mean, I don't know. What, what did you guys get from the story? What do you think? Dave, what, what is your, you know? Uh, watch out for those alligators. Alligators. <laughs> Kovacs alligators. Right. Because to me, it's just like, you know, you play loud music, you try to please everybody, but sometimes you can't. You know, and... Uh, I don't know. Like I said, just, so he ended up playing all by Now, did the swamp band get out of music? That's the question. I don't know. Because at the end of the book, it doesn't say. But the, at, the, at the back page, there's still this parrot who lives in swamp boat saying it's unbearable, so I don't know. So there might be a sequel coming out sometime soon. <laughs> so Unless you want to get a hold of Thatcher Hurd and see what, you know, what he thinks, but... So that's my rendition of Mama Don't Allow. Now next year I'll be back with some other book. This took me about three or four hours to figure this out, by the way. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. No, but it's a lot of fun. And so that's my rendition of uh, Thatcher Hurst's Mama Don't Allow. So thank you for listening. And thank you, sweetheart. You have a CD for her, Michelle, a picture. This is how I reward Michelle. I get dinner, I give her CDs and pictures. <laughs>